Good afternoon everyone, in today's video we are going to be looking at my personal Tornado Season 2022 forecast. Tornado Season is only about 3 days away now, so it is very close, just around the corner. So we're going to be looking at where could see the most tornadoes. This is the influence of El Nino and La Nina on the frequency of, of tornadoes through March and May. And side by side, we have pictures of the tornado frequency index. So on the right is the La Nina influence. And this is if we have a La Nina active through March and May. And on the left, that's where you see a El Nino influence through March and May. So... As you can see, the colors, we have those bluish colors to purple. Those are above average tornado frequencies. And less frequent is in more the tan colors to darker brown colors. So as you can see on the right, we have a La Nina influence, which means we are going to see much more above average uh, tornado activity in the United States, uh, especially there in portions of uh, the central southern U.S. So more of Dixie Alley there right over here. Uh, more of these areas could see a, a very well above average tornado season. Uh, however, we switch over to the El Nino influence. You can see it's very below average, especially in the same areas that we do have the above average in the La Nina influence. So uh, as we, we can, we're going to look at the INSO status and see whether it does mention a La Nina or El Nino to exist uh, during the months of the spring and into the summer, whether or not we will see above average tornado activity or not this season. This is a PowerPoint presentation made by the Climate Prediction Center just recently here on February 21st. So this was just uh, updated on February 21st, four days ago by the Climate Prediction Center. As you can see, this is we're looking at the summary right now with the INSO alert system status. It is a La Nina advisory. So La Nina is currently active uh, for the United States here uh, is in the Eastern Pacific Ocean. Equatorial sea surface temperatures are below average across the East Central and Eastern Pacific Ocean. The tropical Pacific atmosphere is consistent with a La Nina. And as you can see, La Nina is likely to continue into the Northern Hemisphere spring. 77% chance for that La Nina to still exist during March and May, March to May in 2022, and then transition to INSO neutral status, a 56% chance during May and July. So we have a high chance to for this La Nina to still exist in the spring months, which is going to uh, just elevate those tornado chances in the spring. And even in the, with the so neutral, that's still going to uh, still have those average tornado activity and is still above average tornado activity as you still had that La Nina before in the central United States. So I hope that is understanding and weather science uh, between La Nina and El Nino's as they're very much uh, quite different. As you saw in the thumbnail, you saw the uh, colors, but you didn't see the wording. So here we have the my t personal tornado forecast. I would take this as a grain of salt, but this is also quite helpful for the areas I think would get uh, above average tornado activity. And uh, those lightest red areas these are the areas which I think will get uh, average tornado activity. And this is the areas of kind of where tornadoes are going to be possible throughout the year here. So uh, I get my pin out here. This is the area which I think tornadoes will generally happen throughout the year. And this could happen in tornado season. This could happen in hurricane season. This could happen in the winter season which is going on right now and we have seen a, a po even possible we have seen some tornado events already uh, in this er, early this year so i do think we do have a elevated chance for tornadoes in the darker red color and again this is the areas where it, you do typically see tornadoes but it is going to be slightly elevated especially in the spring and summer months uh, in the winter months you still have that chance for tornadoes, but it's mainly down here in the south. Uh, but you are going to have an elevated chance for those tornadoes in spring and summer months, of course, there. So in the pink colors, you have the moderate chance for tornadoes. And this is 
especially in the spring and summer months uh, again especially in the north you're going to see a very moderate chance for those tornado activity to really pop up in those areas in late spring i think these areas are really going to show up with those tornadoes and more early spring so march april these areas are going to get the most tornadoes in march and april so it really depends on the months uh but we start off tornado season down here with those winter type storms uh going off and then bringing cold fronts and systems down here in the south and that's what brings that high chance for tornadoes in early spring you sometimes also get some systems down here in texas for march and april like we did last year down here in texas for early spring so you do have those hot spot areas down here for march and april but then we kind of head north we slowly head north uh during the spring months into the summer months in the summer months uh these areas start to really pop off uh with those tornadoes and storms and generally in may you get a lot of cape up here and you even see record cape values which is a convective available potential energy which is again a thunderstorm juice pretty much uh that really fuels some high hail and it fuels definitely tornadoes as well especially in the north you don't have a bunch of shear in the north so you're gonna need a lot of cape uh to really fuel most of those storms during the summer months uh and as you can see we even have this moderate chance reaching all the way up here into the even the mid-atlantic where again, you're going to have some uh, moderate chances for some tornado activity, uh, mainly in late spring and summer, where a lot of those temperatures are definitely going north with those summer temperatures. Uh, mainly in late spring and summer, of course, you're going to see most of the tornadoes happening up here rather than down here. But you're still going to have a decent chance for tornadoes down here in spring months late spring and summer months i hope you did enjoy the breakdown of who could see the highest chance for tornadoes throughout uh the spring and summer months uh if you did really enjoy i would recommend subscribing to the channel i do come out with uh for daily forecasts on upcoming weather events a uh, future uh weather seasons and stuff like that so subscribe to the channel you won't miss a single output or live stream also, make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may want the latest uh, forecast on this upcoming tornado season. But as always, stay safe.